How's it going, Tiny Little Hot Dog Cuties? Ben here. Today we are going to be talking about the stressors that you have to face when you are in medical school. And yes, we're going to be talking about first and second year. And this video is mostly for people who are thinking about going into medical school and or have gotten into gotten into medical school and haven't started it yet because there are some misconceptions but also some really right things and also some explanations that I think I need to make for anyone who is thinking about medical school. And before we get started, I want to tell you guys about my new camera. I just upgraded my camera to a bokeh lens. So the quality of my videos will definitely improve. You can see that the background of my video is slightly blurred out. And I just really love this lens and I can't wait to keep shooting more videos on it. And also, Trans Week just happened and I am really proud of being visible about being trans. So my name is Ben and if you are new to this channel, you may have not known but I am a transgender male. So let's get started. So when I got first got into medical school I kind of knew the stereotypes about people uh, experiencing medical school like the common thing that you hear a lot of people who aren't in medical school say about medical school in general as in like it's going to be incredibly hard you have to study a lot and that you're gonna have no social life but all of these things are more like quantitative and conceptual explanations of how medical school like I don't think anybody who's actually experienced medical school can tell you how the quality of it is nobody who hasn't been in medical school can tell you the quality of the things that people tell you about medical school so that's why I made this video today because growing up I had nobody in my family who was in medical school I knew nobody in medical school so I kind of had to deal with this all on my own and then figure it out on my own. So I don't want other people to have to go through the same thing. So I want to share those stressors that medical school makes you go through as an individual. And I want to preface this by saying that although medical school is very hard and yet you have to deal with a lot of stuff, I will never ever not pursue this career. This is the career that I love and this is the career that I want to pursue for the rest of my life. So the first year of medical school, I am not going to lie, but you actually have a lot of time for social events. Like, I was going out pretty regularly and doing fine in my classes. I was hanging out with my friends from medical school and because I was going to the med I am going to the medical school in my hometown, I was able to hang out with friends outside of medicine as well. And I did fine. I, I just had to adjust a lot. And that's what I'm going to talk about. So the first year... I want to emphasize the fact that it isn't as hard as second year. Second year is just absolutely garbage, terrible, bull, poop. So a huge thing about first year is that you have to learn to adapt, adapt to the environment. And what I mean by that is, is that in undergrad, yes, undergrad was hard, but I was able to make undergrad my own. It was more modular, as in that, hey, I have to take these two really hard courses that are required, so you know what, I'm going to take these three other easier courses so I can handle the workload. So in undergrad, I was able to, even though I was taking hard courses, I was able to manage them because I, I had full control of my schedule. In medical school, it's not like that at all. The school makes your schedule, and you have to follow that schedule by the T. You cannot adjust it, you cannot reformatting, you can't do anything, you have to go by the schedule of the school, which can be really hard to adjust with because you are constantly, constantly on pressure. No matter what classes you're taking, you are going to have pressure. So my advice to you guys is that as soon as you start, and you might be in high school watching this video so you guys don't have to think that far out ahead. I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm going to repeat this for think, people who are thinking about applying very soon is that once you start figure out what works for you do not I repeat do not try to do a method that was working for you in undergrad if it's not working in med school completely change that method and also if a large number of students are using a method that's working for them and it's giving them successful results if you try it and it's not working for you don't keep pushing yourself to try and do that method find something else that works for you in medical school because you don't have a lot of freedom as far as what classes you're taking you do get a lot of freedom as 
how are you gonna study so figure out what works best for you I think I made a video that goes more in depth onto that so I'm just going to give you the surface level of that information number two about starting medical school is that you'll realize that you're in high school again and what I mean by that is a, a bunch of people packed together in a room for hours at a time that only know each other and not much of the outside world honestly because you're so stuck into this whole whole biosphere of medicine so when drama starts drama spreads and people know about it and soon everybody in the class will know about it it's very very high schooly it's very it can get very very clicky honestly luckily I go to one of the schools where people are generally tight with each other but for most medical schools there's almost always some some level of clickiness some level of favoritism some level of he said she said some level of drama I got I hate drama and I even got into drama in medical school and I, I, I can't stand it but it's something that you have to face because it's so it's such a small group of people living breathing studying suffering together so things will start and things will spread just be aware of that and just be aware that you need to learn how to handle that situation without it affecting your schoolwork and I want to preface that by it's nothing controversial. It's just like even a small little tiny thing can blow up. Like, I don't like the fact that they have somebody was using the coffee machine at 4 a.m. and leaving a mess. And that kind of things can spread really, really quickly. And you just need to learn how to deal with that drama. Just watch me, Mean Girls uh, uh, like three times and uh, make a list of all the things you shouldn't be doing that you see in Mean Girls. And, and you'll be fine. Honestly, you'll be fine. However, the biggest thing as far as my mental health when it came to first year of medical school is adjusting to Cadaver Lab. And I want to say that Cadaver Lab has been one of the most, most, most memorable and most humbling experiences I have had in my first year. However, it did take a hit to my mental health because of the fact that I am such a sympathetic and emotionally driven person. So for me to put myself in cadaver lab and seeing all the generous and amazing amazing people that donated their bodies to science I grew to have an appreciation for them but because of the person I am I took in a lot of guilt for what I was doing and I had to learn how to adjust to that and every time that an organ system would change it would be I would, I would have to do a readjustment because it's a new experience that I'm having and it's a new thing that I have to tell myself that it's okay for me to do these things because these people wanted me to do these things to their bodies to find out more about the body and to find out more about the anatomy inside so there was a lot of like mental health gymnastics that I had to do f so that I I could be sane as far as my level of guilt that I was having being in cadaver lab so that was pretty much it for my experience in first year as far as the things that I had to deal with but let me tell you second year is crazy it's a whole nother ball game and that's something I've had to realize every block every year in medical school you are faced with new stressors old stressors go away and you just have to constantly learn to adjust yourself and for a lot of people it's really hard for you to change in that way humans are habitual we like to do things a certain way and stick to that for a very long time in medical school you don't get that opportunity you honestly have to devote yourself to something to a habit for three weeks and then completely change it like honestly sometimes it, it genuinely feels like that because think about it we just had our cardiology unit which is one of the hardest units this year and we had to read a 450 page cardiopathophys book in three weeks three weeks time for one class out of six that is insane there was a point where I was just like reading and I realized I had been reading for four hours and I only made a small dent in the material and I just started hysterically laughing to myself I was just like ah, 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 ah. Like that was that's how crazy it is and like I've literally seen so many of my classmates have like breakdowns I've seen so many of my classmates have breakdowns right in front of me because of like the workload was just too much it was just too intense but I'm here to tell you that it's okay to have those breakdowns I urge 
anybody who's going through any type of hard schooling or curriculum or any type of work to have those breakdowns and to share. If you share, you feel that you are more connected with your peers that are going through the same thing. So yes, you will have those breakdowns, but if you share your experience, you will feel a lot better after having that breakdown. And that's that's been the same for me and a lot of my classmates. Second year is also the year that you almost get no social interaction to, to the outside world. First year, you get it here and then. And I was honestly having a great time first year as far as my emotional health. But second year is not like that at all. Sometimes I don't even see my classmates for weeks at a time because of the fact that I stay home and study and I don't generally go to class because class ends up taking too long so I watch the lectures at home at twice the speed and am able to cover more material in less time. So you are completely isolated from the outside world and sometimes you honestly feel miserable. Like you want to go out, you want to see the sunshine, you want to see the trees, you want to see the green, you want to smell the flowers and you can't do that. You're in your room and you have to put yourself on a desk chair and sit there for five to six hours at a time and honestly it's bad for your posture it's bad for your mental health it's bad for your muscles it's bad for your back it's bad for everything like it's bad for your brain too to have to go through the, all that stress and the fact that a lot of my classmates are also losing a lot of sleep luckily i have i've been having a really strict sleep schedule so i've been fine but a lot of people lose sleep as well and my advice for second year is yeah it's going to be rough but Feel free to share the struggles you're going with, going through with your uh, teachers, with your faculty, with with your classmates, and also learn to learn to know that you are suffering. But when you do have the time, to take that time to enjoy life, just do your hobbies. Like as you guys can tell, I don't upload as often as I did before because of second year. But whenever I do get the opportunity, I do upload, and it's a huge stress reliever for me because I love film. And I love advocacy, so I've been I've been involved myself, involving myself in advocacy in the Atlanta queer trans scene, and just doing those tiny little things that keep you sane. So I think that's pretty much it for this video. This video is not meant to discourage anyone from going to medical school. This is to discourage people who are wanting to go to medical school because one, they want to be either rich, they want to. It's because of pride or some status or that they are being forced to, to consider it because people outside of themselves are encouraging them but they themselves don't feel confident but they know that they're not confident in pursuing medical school it's not it's not a career that you go into just for the clout honestly it's a career that you go into because you generally care about people you and you generally have a passion for learning about the human body if you don't have those two things, you will not survive medical school. It is ex extremely arduous. It's extremely difficult. It's it's really hard to handle sometimes. And if you are passionate, I don't care how weak you think you are. If you are passionate about medicine and helping people, and you are passionate about learning, you can handle it. You are not weak, and you can handle it. I have a friend who went through a lot of abuse growing up, went through a lot of trauma growing up, but she loves medicine, and she's a classmate of mine, and yes, she's had a lot of roadblocks to face. She's going to take another year to graduate, but guess what? She is going to be a doctor at the end of it because she's passionate and she's still working her butt off. And I hope this becomes, this, is a, this video will encourage you to do the same, regardless of how much you are struggling. I love you guys. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm very active on Instagram and Twitter because it, it doesn't require as much work as making videos. So be sure to follow me there. Like, subscribe, share this video. I want to have more of an impact on the YouTube community. And I'll see you on the next one. This is Ben.